All right, so we're stocked up with different types of drinks. I'm sure half this video will be just me trying out drinks and seeing if they're good. These I got from Trader Joe's. Also these, um, I tried one yesterday. Mm, five out of 10, kind of meh. Curious to try that, I'll probably drink one today. And then Olipops are like my life. I love Olipops, so. Okay, so I had already tried these but I lost the footage somehow. So I got these at Trader Joe's. They're like strawberry rhubarb soda. On their own, they're not that good. I didn't really like it very much, but I decided one day to try it with an emergency packet because I just felt like I needed one and I mixed it with that and it is like a thousand times better. And you get some vitamin C while you're at it. So that made it way better. On their own, like a four out of 10, but with that, low key like eight out of 10. I also had these, let me see if I have one actually. I also got these and tried these and also lost that footage for some reason, but these are the pomegranate punch from Trader Joe's. I do not like these ones either. These ones are probably like a five out of 10. The more I had them, the more it was like, okay, this is all right, but I wouldn't get it again personally. But that's, that's that for my uh, Trader Joe's drink haul. <laughs> It's me again. At this point, this whole video is me just taste testing uh, different drinks and juices and sodas. So I don't even know what I'm gonna end up titling this, but I have another one. I got this at some little marketplace in Pike Place. Ooh. Okay. This tastes exactly like the San Pellegrinos. I'm gonna give it like a nine out of 10. I guess while we're here, we can talk about, I. it is Sunday today, and this is me making it through the first weekend of dry January. I don't want this to sound like it's so dramatic and so hard, because it's really not, it's whatever, but I've just never done it, so this is kind of my experience. Last night we went out to this little bar in Fremont, and they have great cocktails. So I will say it was a little bit hard for me to want to say no to a cocktail, but I did get some mocktails. It was some sort of mocktail that had cider in it. So it was a little bit fruity, but it was really nice, really refreshing. And then the second one I had really just tastes like a, uh, what are they called? Oh, an orange dreamsicle. Oh my gosh. It straight up tasted like ice cream. It was so good. I will say you would think with me not drinking more alcohol, I would drink more water instead but I still feel like my water intake is just not <laughs> what it should be. I really need to be drinking more water. But then here I am, I'm just drinking these things, which probably isn't better than water, so. What you doing? Let's see if the pasta's ready. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> 2023 vision boards coming at ya. Neither of us have done a vision board before, but I'm seeing them everywhere and Austin said that we should make them. So here we are, we're making them. I've always wanted to make one. I always do my goals and stuff. Can you sit up? <laughs> that is driving me crazy. So I've already compiled some photos on my vision board or for my vision board. You guys see that picture? I'm not really sure what pictures and things to put on mine because I've never done this before, but I'm just kind of going for it. There's no rules to it, bro. Look at all the little things we could add. Look at all the shapes. Uh, 
update. I don't know how many hours it's been, but we've made a little bit of progress. Here's what I have so far. Hey, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Two photos, bro? Outer space. We are going to outer space, actually. Oh my god! Where's the pasta? Over here. Grocery shopping after we grocery shopped yesterday. I've never been in this one. Amazon Fresh. You walk in and you grab it and then you leave. We got there. We pop them because we pop them like awful red and butter. Oh my god. All right, we back with another taste test. I have been curious about these for a little bit. So we're gonna try it. This is the watermelon water passion fruit flavor. It smells kind of weird. <laughs> so we'll see if it tastes any better. I'm struggling with one hand if you can't tell, but cheers. It's not bad. It definitely tastes way more potent of watermelon than I thought it would. The aftertaste is kind of meh. I just realized that this says shake before enjoying, which maybe that affected the taste a little bit. I didn't read that <laughs> and now I can't really shake it. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to shake it with my hand over it. <laughs> Kinda tastes the same. Good morning. It is Friday the 13th. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Uh, excuse my hair, it's a hair wash day today. But yesterday I quit dry January. <laughs> I made it almost two weeks but I kind of just got to a point where I was realizing that it was kind of a little bit pointless just for me personally because I was just gonna start drinking again straight after January ended. So it was kind of like, why am I doing this in the first place? It does help me though a little bit just know that I need to like, not like monitor my drinking, but just kind of get a better relationship with alcohol and knowing my limits and things like that. So we're doing a damp. January, I guess, or just like damp for the rest of the year. Drinking when it makes sense to, but not drinking just to drink. I don't know. <laughs> I did really want to commit just to say I did it, but at this point, it's whatever. Okay, so I finally finished my vision board. Sorry in advance if you can hear the dishwasher, but I just wanted to show you. It's a little chaotic because it's my first one, but I feel like it pretty well encompasses my dreams and aspirations for my future. So I will throw it up here and let's go over it a little bit. Okay, so starting in the top left, we have a golden retriever. I am pretty set on that, having a golden retriever. I don't know if I'll get another type of dog. I'm just, I'm very biased with uh, my family golden retriever. So I have that. And then next to it, it's a little quote about your 20s and just living up your 20s and being selfish. And that definitely resonates with me a lot. Next to that is definitely gonna be me with all the money I manifest in the future. The girls on the boat is definitely me and my friends and will continue to be forever. So had to add that. And then a little positive message, cause why not? Absolutely more self love every day, always, forever. I put financial independence very large because that's a big one for me. I am working on that now so that I can have financial independence very soon in the future. Next to that, I added a picture of Tokyo because that's the top of my bucket list for travel. And then next to that, I put a YouTube 100,000 plaque with consistency added on that. We're going to hit 100K at some point, you know, 
someday we have to hit 100K. It's just like, if I stay consistent enough, it'll happen. So that's on there. And then a little spa picture, a little workout picture, a little couple vacay and vlog camera and studying with a view. But yeah, this is, this is what I came up with. These are my goals and aspirations. This is more so not what I'm trying to accomplish this year specifically. This is just throughout my lifetime. I would love for these things to happen. Sooner than later would be great, but send me some positive energy so I can manifest all of this. But with that, comment down below what your biggest goal for the new year is and what you want to accomplish this year. And yeah, I guess I'll just leave it there. I hope you enjoyed my sad attempt at dry January, my very failed attempt at dry January.